Today, I will introduce the auto reclosing module. This module is used to test auto recloser along with the line protection. It can check the process of successful unsuccessful auto reclosing. The auto reclosing time the voltage block of auto recloser and the angle block of auto recloser. The first line of the top is menu bar. The second line is the tool bar. The test items display area is right below the tool bar. Below is the test item setting area which is used to set the setting value of each test item. In the center is the display area. It displays the value, phase, frequency, and the diagram of the output value. On the left hand is a task list. All the tasks you made are displayed in this area. It's a test results display area. All the results of the each test item are displayed here. The bottom is the indicator lamps, binary input or output state, operation state, and the photo alarm are displayed by these indicators. It's for binary input state. It's for the photo alarm. is for the binary output state. Click setting button to enter into this page for setting value modifying. First, it's the impedance angle and the value is 78. Second, the impedance value is 1.9 ohm. The third reclosing setting time is one second. We choose UA as the reference phase. Voltage broken value set 30 volt. And the angle broken value is 45 degree. Choose the compensation fact mode and set the value. Finish it, save and exit. Enter the parameter setting page to set the operation parameters. We set 30 seconds for the perform time for the normal state. We need the fault hold, so we set 0 to the post fault time. Trigger condition is 10. PT is in the bush bar side. And the CT is pointed at the 9 direction. Other values keep default. Select the test items from the test item display area. 
After that, you can set the parameter of each test item from the parameters card. The impedance and angle are directly mapped to the setting value you have just set right now. You can also set the test current. You can also set the fault type of each item from the drop down list. You can choose single phase fault, phase to phase fault, phase to phase grounding fault, and three phase fault. From fault model, you can set the fault as transient fault or permanent fault. Maximum fault time is the maximum fault duration. Voltage blocking and the phase blocking value as be set here. Frequency we set 50 Hz in this experiment. You can add and delete test items freely by use the add and remove buttons. In the assessment card, you can define the evaluation standard. In the wiring card, you can define the wiring connection diagram and set the popping message to remind you check the wiring connection.
Good state function is an optional function. For detailed information, please watch the video of IEC 61850 testing. Click F2 to run the test program. The result of the first test item was displayed in the result display area. 0 0.95 times of voltage blocking to verify the auto recloser will not be blocked. The second test item is 1.05 times of voltage blocking. To verify the auto recloser will be blocked. We check the tripping time of the acceleration of auto recloser when it closed to a permanent fault. We can change the standard in the assessment card to get a different result. We can save the test report by click Report Drop List in Toolbar and choose Save. We can also save the test as a template that next time when we test the relay, we can just record this template to finish the test in second without change anything. In the report job list, we can generate a system format report and a word format report. Click Report Setting button. You can select the report content that you need to be displayed in your report.
Note the template file from the test manager. Find the template file in the place you have saved. Note the report file from the test manager. Find the report file in the place you have saved. That's all about the auto reclosing module. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe the channel for more information.